Hi everyone, what's up? Josh here, and today I have a very special review of the Commandante C60 Barracuda. And this just isn't another Commandante grinder. Trust me, it's another beast entirely. And in the next 10 minutes, I'll provide you with a detailed review of this grinder, diving into its features, the specifications, and why it's gaining attention amongst copy enthusiasts. And we'll cover off the comparison with its predecessor, the C40. I'll tell you right away though, the C60 takes things to a whole new level, and I will be breaking down this comparison as we go. So throughout this video, if you do enjoy what you see, go ahead and smash that like button and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Let's dive in now to the heart of this review of the Commandante C60 Barracuda. The C60 appears much like the C40 Commandante in a visual side-by-side. -side. The two glaringly obvious differences are the body and the handles. And whilst the C40 has a veneer wooden wrap with dual lightweight polymer supports inside, the C60 on the other hand boasts a spectacular full metal construction with a singular support bracket inside the chamber, the structural integrity is impressive. And this thus opens up the chamber for when you're adding your beams. I will say, it is a bit of a departure from that old school textual feel that you get from the C40 for what I like to call the silent assassin when brewing coffee. And this is transformed into a bold statement with the C60. And the weight, of course, adds to that sense of purpose. When I picked up the C60 for the first time, I said, this is not just a grinder, this is a substantial tool. And the weight reminds you of the quality materials and the robust engineering that has gone into this and it is more like holding a precision instrument than a mere coffee accessory. The capacities, of course, remain similar at 45 grams in the hopper, and the very same catch cups that are used on the C40 are compatible with the C60, and you get a clear and pink one in the box. And the handle assembly, whilst it's still a polymer lid connecting to the axle via magnets, and with a steel crank handle and wooden pommel, it is longer and larger than the C40 for good measure. You see, it's all about leverage here. And the C60 is equipped with impressive 60 mil nitro blade conical burrs. So Commandante has strategically designed the handle and the pommel to provide that leverage needed for super smooth and efficient grinding action. At a staggering 50% larger than their predecessor in the C40 model, Commandante have managed to maintain that distinctive nitro blade look and feel, with noticeable upgrades also to the spring for more strength and reliability, and the grind adjustment mechanism going from a three ball bearing T-shape adjuster to introducing their latest full brass GX50 Gold Clicks circular dial, although still with no marker. And to fit these colossal burrs into the same body as a C40, some small design changes were inevitable. The C40 is that ultimate burr design, but the team at Commandante had to upscale without compromising that iconic performance of a Commandante grinder. So this isn't just about size alone, it is about optimizing performance and pushing the boundaries of what is possible in the sleek and familiar form that really did set the standard for high-end manual grinders for some time. And I think Commandante have done a fantastic job of this with the C60. Now the Commandante C60 is a stepped grinder, and in changing the grind settings, you want to remove the grinds catcher, but keep the crank arm on and hold this steady, whilst you rotate the dial under the burrs to change the grind. There are 12 clicks to a full rotation of the dial, and there are around five full rotations for workable grind settings. You'll also have a diagram available on the burr set to let you know which way is finer and coarser. With there being no numbers to easily track the current grind setting that you're on, or which one you need to go to, say if you're jumping between methods, or you forgot what grind setting you're on from the other day, a trick is, rather than clicking the dial one at a time, you can safely hold the dial underneath, just make sure your fingers are far away from the edge of the burr set, and then quickly rotate the handle to get back to the zero point. Now, once we're at the zero point, say if you're aiming for a pour over grind of 25, we know that every full rotation of the crank handle will add 12 settings to the grind adjustment. So we need to just do this twice. Once, twice, gets us to 24 grind settings. And then we just add one more to get to 25. 
And the Commandante C60 is an all-purpose grinder, and it will grind for any brew method. Here's what I found to be the best grind settings so far when using the Barracuda. And you can opt for the Red Clicks upgrade to your Commandante C60, for which it is compatible. This basically allows you to double your available grind settings by minimizing the jump between each grind setting. And this is a notable expansion from the standard range, and this enhancement provides that broader spectrum for dialing in. However, it is essential to note that choosing the Red Clicks upgrade means foregoing the GX50 Gold Adjuster for the Red Clicks one. So while you do gain versatility, it does come with that trade-off in the adjustment mechanism, but that really isn't all that important. And as demonstrated, this, like many of the Commandante grinders, is very easy to disassemble and clean. All right, so here's the segment where I grind out a full 20 gram dose of espresso beans on an espresso setting, and we'll just see how long the grinder takes which is interesting. It's probably one of the biggest changes you'll notice with the C60. Obviously, bigger burrs, bigger crank. Uh, it's gonna churn through the beans. We'll start with the C40 though. Just a nice classic timber. Super smooth grinding, no catching. Still going. I love Commandante grinders though, they have this thing where it's always like one bean left in the hopper, you're never sure. So I just kind of keep going, keep going. Still going. There we go, there's the other bean. I can still hear one more popping around in there. There we go. All right. Definitely done now. Well, you could probably have stopped the clock a while back, but that's okay. It was only like one or two beans. Uh, C60. Don't know how that one bean jumped out, but there's always one bean. Now, honestly, the hopper in this is just so huge. Like, it's massive. You shouldn't be able to miss beans getting them in here. Well, there's really nothing for it to bounce off other than the axle if you're unlucky. All right, start the clock on this one. Say it's quieter. It's definitely not a high pitched sound, it's a deep, deep sound. A little bit more of a catch in the smoothness of the grind, but otherwise, I feel like we're coming to the end. There we go, that was it. No hopping or popping this time. And we're done. Oh, smells delicious. And the grinds? Yeah. Beautiful. But how quick was this? How quick was the C60 versus the C40? Perhaps now we dive into the few considerations just to balance our review. How about it? So I guess while the Commandante C60 does offer a faster grind, slight enhanced flavor, but certainly increased durability over its predecessor, it is essential to acknowledge there are a few inherited features 
that may be received as grievances for some users. When I say inherited, inherited from the C40 and known Commandante issues, I guess. Firstly, it has an internal grind adjustment without a dial sight. And this can be a bit of a hurdle for those who prefer a more visual reference. And additionally, the espresso dialing range, as I've already mentioned, may feel a tad limiting, especially without the red clicks upgrade, which by the way, is that separate consideration that you need to purchase. It is worth noting that the C60 also inherits the thicker body of a Commandante from the C40. And this does make it a little bit more challenging for some users to hold. And whilst it's important to acknowledge these characteristics that might pose as challenges and certainly do for a lot of people, let's bring this into perspective alongside the myriad of merits to the C60, which I still think is a fantastic addition to the Commandante range. Faster grinding, improved flavor, heightened durability as a grinder, and undeniable strengths that add considerable appeal if you're already a Commandante fan and you love the brand and its distinct features, the stellar performance of the C60's value does become even more apparent when you take all that in. And as we explore the landscape of possibilities, there is this intriguing notion on the horizon. And I, I'm yet to get clear clarification from Commandante about this, but considering what I would say are curious notches on the inside of the C60 grinder's body, I can't help to wonder about the potential for future enhancements. And I'm talking perhaps an automated motor that could be introduced, which I would certainly say would further advance the capabilities of the C60. So it's worth keeping an eye on that. I'm gonna clean up and come back with my summary. So here's the bottom line. The Commandante C60 is without a doubt a force to be reckoned with. And if you are new to the Commandante brand, then this grinder is very exciting. Yet at the same time, if you're familiar with Commandante or are a huge fan, you could take it two ways here. You could be loving this beefed up version of the C40 range, or are a little bit disappointed that they didn't innovate enough within the design of a Commandante grinder. Yet with its super fast grinding, its enhanced flavor, and also the immaculately durable build, it does make it still a standout performer within the hand grinding range. Though also, as we've seen, it does carry a few of those inherited features that might not align with everyone's preferences. But here I wanna add that I wouldn't be talking about the C60 here like I have if I didn't believe in its potential as a fantastic hand grinder. And the price, that's something we haven't spoken about. It is quite high for a hand grinder. It sits certainly in that higher range, but I think the cost of the Commandante C60 is a reflection of the quality materials that are packed into this powerhouse of a hand grinder. And when you invest in a Commandante hand grinder, no matter which one it is, you are purchasing a hand grinder and securing it for life. So thank you so much for joining me today as we reviewed the Commandante C60 Barracuda. Thanks for watching to the end of this video, and until to next time, until next time, see you later.